Shazam. Give me a few moments here. Because I'm li very literally unprepared. I don't have my other cameras booted up yet. Oh, shoot. Okay, so that's good. Second. Oh my goodness, why am I getting, getting so much crap? All of a sudden, me here. Okay. See how that one works. Let's nuke that audio. Hey guys. Hey Greg. Hey Mega Dan. Yeah, I should have been building earlier. I should have been building this morning, but took a chill day. Let's see. Oh, damn. Hang on a second. I still haven't put the... Not that it's a big deal, but there we go. And one more. I wish I could automate this process. Problem is you really can't. Because sometimes USB will move your devices around when it boots. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, it wasn't bad. Wife went to work. Daughter went to school, but she's already come back home. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> well, well, look at that. I'm Batman. Can't see my eyes, which is good because my eyes still messed up. Um, but we'll fix that in a minute once I fix the individual cameras. All right, so this one we fix twice usually. Okay, wide screen, auto focus off, whiteness, 5600 ish, good enough. It's camera one, camera two. Focus, whiteness, 5,600-ish. Doesn't really matter as long as it's around that range. Uh, camera three. Over the shoulder shot. Advance, focus off. The reason I turn focus off is so it doesn't hunt, doesn't do the in and out stuff, because usually whatever it's set at is fine. But um, it's also less CPU. So there's a method to the madness. So there's the big bad boy. Go back to the first one. Ah, see, that's the problem. I do the others and I come back and it always bites me in the ass. That's okay. I'll leave it on this one because this is the one I will adjust after. Hey, David. And we'll do this. 
and then we'll do this. Awesome. That one light that was such a pain in the ass. Ding. Oh, that was kind of neat. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, Shazam, Dave. Not quite an empty nest. My daughter's back home now, so she short day. She gets to chill. She doesn't have to deal with those frigid cold temperatures tomorrow unless she wants to. So that's good. But uh, yeah, this is the bad boy we're dealing with now. Um, I don't really like that. What did you do? Nothing. Uh huh. So, Greg, don't jump on, okay? I want some opportunities for a few other people to come on if they want to come on. Some people are a little gun shy when they see the same person all the way on or always on. So, we're going to give them a Greg break, but I am going to post this to the group. In case someone's around. I think that worked. And I can't. Yeah, it did work. Okay. All right. So. Nice. Nice, nice. And my eyes still swollen and nasty looking. Uh, hopefully it's better for Sunday before I go back to work. I definitely wouldn't feel comfortable driving right now because my vision is actually quite impaired. But let's see here. 622 pieces. I expect this is going to be two streams, maybe three. I made thumbnails for four because I always... For anything over 200 pieces, I'm going to make multiple thumbs. Let's see here. So we got, ooh, bag nine. Not a lot of pieces. By the way, let me just look already. Beautiful prints everywhere. Bag 10. A little too much plastic, but what can you do? Eight. Look at that ridiculous amount of plastic for bag six. So while I appreciate your seven. Hey, Big Nate, Shazam. Premium's only worth it if you want to listen to YouTube videos without having to watch them. Like, you don't have to have it be the active app. You can have it in the background. Um, and it's supposed to give you more, more or less commercial free. Um, that won't stop anything that's embedded, but we'll see. Number three, number four. So I kind of whisked out. I was going to do Batman or the Ghostbuster car. The truth is I didn't feel like going up there and digging it out because honestly, it's going to be a half hour to an hour. I really want help, like, from a daughter or something. She wasn't around earlier. So I will probably continue to build what's easy here and then hit those two big cars before I do Prime. I think that makes the most sense. And we'll open up these shelves for something big. I think that makes the most sense instead of, like, jumping. I know everyone wants to see me build those other two, but it's like, we'll get there. We will get there. Yeah, this is this is definitely a sweet looking one, that's for sure. Having built the small one first and I've got an actual hot wheels that match that, like it is kind of cool. Big beautiful manual. I was pretty sure this was a Larry Woods. Oh, Oh, oh no, he's the Lego guy. Oh, so I'm totally wrong, Tyler Charest. 
So I will actually have to edit the show notes. Ha ha. I thought it was this was a Larry Woods. So I gotta stop assuming all the fantasy cars are Larry Woods. Okay, well. So you know what I'll do from now on? I'll see if I can do a little research before I create a show. Big beautiful book though. Big beautiful book. Ooh, I like. How come I didn't see this photography? I would have lifted this for sure. But, uh, yeah, super nice. Now, I didn't notice. It's just one bag each. Just one bag. Um, two. I didn't notice that there was two sets of wheels. Oh, yeah, they're different sizes. Now, this is the medium scale car as opposed to something small like this guy. I call that kitty grade. And uh, that's your five year old plus thing. Um, they say 10 plus for this. And I don't know if they go any higher than that because right now I've got this. I got Mod Rod and I got um, not Mod Rod. Is it Mod Rod? Mod Rod. And Bigfoot up there. Don't have the Pontiac yet. Shoon, shoon. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. This is a ridiculous amount of plastic. Seven, eight. That was nine, right? 9, 10, 11 is the wheels. So we'll keep that there. There's the wheels. Although I do like to open the wheels right away. I'm now waiting for that. Red lines. You got to love it. Now, this one's ever so slightly warped, but I had that issue before in another one. What I might do is cheat, pop it out. Because I'm not a fan of that here. I'll even show you that one. I don't know how well that's showing up, but right there. And so I'm going to notice that on another one. So I'm going to see what I can do about fix that. Those are great. So... Yeah, that kind of side. or it might not just be all the way out. Let's see. Little column A, little column B. I mean, that already looks a little better, but let's see. If I can pop it out, I'll resee it. Because the instructions show building the wheel. So let's see. Okay, so it's absolutely kind of mucked. So if I, f oh, is it? possible it may not be possible let's see success so it may not roll great or whatever kind of looks like a flat tire that's kind of cool anyway visually it's fixed let's see you definitely get that kind of flat tireish Looks good though. So, where's the water? I'm attempting a cleanse today, tomorrow, Saturday. <sighs> Broth, collagen, my vitamins. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I've done plenty in the past, and I tell you the truth. I don't know if I'm going to make it. This was hard. Uh, and you're back, Dan, back to your question about YouTube premium being worth it. How much YouTube do you watch? I watch YouTube almost exclusively. I watch it more. There's another separate. I watch it more than I watch my paid services. Um... Like, even for movies, 
I could probably survive on YouTube just watching VVS films on YouTube. While it's not always your top tier movies, actually, it's really your top tier movies. I've watched plenty that were awesome. Let's see, no parts. We'll put it there for now. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I definitely feel that eesh, it goes with a fast. It's like, no. Um, oh, what the hell was that? I'm looking at it and I realize, oh, they, they're already starting with floating parts. Like, really? That is not a cool way to start. They are, though. Like, why wouldn't you have me do this first? You're evil. That is an evil instruction to do. Like, I'm going to do some of these out of order because I don't like what they're doing. Really not a fan of some of that shenanigans. And then, so I went to four and I'm going back to three. So this next step times two, oh, it's all the little itty bitty bits. Are these going to be ups? Okay, so their version of a bracket with four studs, four studs, and they're up bracket. It's going to be stud, bracket, stud. So, yeah, uh, like I said, I, I was fully intent, intended uh, last night. I figured, yeah, you know, I'm going to start one of those monster builds. And then when I realized I got to move, you know, five Star Wars UCS sets minimum, then bring the ladder in, then go up and drop even more shit on my desk. It's like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> we'll wait a bit. We'll clear out. All the other car stuff, except for Prime. And that also give me the excuse, because the other Prime is up there, too. So I got two Primes to build. So now you guys know the plan. I just don't have it properly scheduled out. Okay, I love, the, I love this green. Like, if I was going to... Actually, if it wasn't for all the prints, this would be a great army builder set. Like, if you want army colored green bricks, like, this is really nice, in my opinion. In my opinion. I was going to, where's that other part? I'm looking at the lighting here. Some of this I'm not happy about. Let's see how much of this is just my monitor. Reader mode's horrible. Cinema is kind of okay, but kind of hard. Whoosh. First person shooter. Oh my God, I hate that. RTS. See, the problem is no one ever knows what 
it really should be unless you get the color calibration tool. I don't know if I like that one. I guess we're going to leave it. We'll leave it alone. Step seven, step eight. So we need some uh, one by four plate. And we need up brackets of the one by two variety. I tell you, that's one thing I don't like about Mega. I know it makes for some interesting builds, but I don't like their brackets. I just... Just not a fan of the design. There we go. Two of those. Really good clutch. Two by four in black, one by four in black, and two single bricks. Okay, this looks like it's going to be the connection for the wheels. Two Technic bricks with holes. One, two. Uh, one by four. Two one by threes. What did I miss? What did I miss? For some reason, my brain is not reading left to right for some reason. Could be all the years I spent with the Chinese. Messing with me, guys. PTSD. It's real. It's damn real. Okay, that's step 11. Step 12 is this one. Going behind. Reach behind, folks. Reach behind. Two one by twos with studs on the side. Two single bricks. Definitely a lot of uh, snot design here. Studs not on top. Yeah, that's a heck of an acronym, eh? You get the slightly metallic size, metallic. I don't know how you would say pronounce that. Slightly metallic in the color. Don't ask me to compare it to the previous ones because I don't have any built mega in this green except for the little one, the little car, and I'm sure it's the same. But as for older ones, like against the halo tanks or cars, I couldn't tell you how close a match it is. I'll leave that to the mega mega collectors who uh, build more often than me. We're streaming to 
all of my stuff, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, including our Facebook groups for Mega and Lego. And I got the links in about a dozen Mega groups. So happy, happy. Okay, looks like we're building part of the wheel well here already. Another L brick and another inverted slope. The nice thing about building with these these larger mega cars, oh the bricks, like solid looking stuff. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, it's just one of those and then uh, one by two modified with a stud and holes in the top. That and a one by five. Interesting, interesting choice. Oh, and I skip steps again. See, my brain's not going left to right for some reason. That's the second time my eyes were drawn down. And I see, hey, I haven't done that yet. And then we do the same one by five. Ooh, that's something else. I suspect what we'll do is the first hour or two now, and then we'll do probably something after six o'clock Eastern. We'll see. Getting ahead of myself there. So two by six, uh, one by fours, a couple of them, actually three of them. Inside. Um, one on each, two by six. And, okay, now we're doing a sub-build. Two of these plates, this big bad boy here. This is what's hard on the thumbs <laughs> when you're mashing large plates together, whether it's Lego or Mega. And I gotta admit, I feel it's a little harder sometimes in Lego or with Mega. Look at that big brick. That's what we like. One by six, one by three. Okay, big bad boy down the center. Make sure we're pushing that down. One by three on this side. Oh my goodness, solid stuff going on here. Not a hollowed out build. One by six, one by three. Although my thumb is already, I think it's already turning white. It'll be really wearisome if it turns uh, purple. One, two, three, four, five, six of these brackets. Does that go down? Am I messing it up? No. Okay. I don't want to put undue stress on those little studs on the side because I have broken them with Mega. Crazy Glue's been my friend more than once, putting those buggers back on. One, two, three, four, 
one by two bricks in black. Going each way here. One, two. And one by six uh, brick, one by two plates, one by one stud. So, Dan, you still got the kids? Come on, come on. Okay. And okay, that's looking like the picture. We're almost the bag too. Time for a drink. Tomorrow during the day, we'll do some photography. We'll do some cleanup of the area, maybe rearrange some stuff. And maybe I will go up and pull those sets down tomorrow. I don't know. My daughter is home for part of the day before she takes off or whatever fun she's going to have. Let's see. Blue canister. One brick. Big Nate hanging in the house. Shazam. Shazam. Let's see. One of these has to go up. One of these has to go this way. Looks like a regulator valve. Cool. Very cool. And then one of these. And is this white? Oh, look at that. It's actually a dial. It's actually a dial. Good luck. Ugh, putting it on, though. Good enough. So that's going to occupy that position. One by six, one by twos, and a one by one. That makes the rest of these spares. One by six. One by two plate on a one by two plate, one by one plate. And we'll do it the same as we did before. All right, that's the end of bag ones. Bag two, dose. There you go, you can see the two. Even more important than with Lego to make sure I have nothing left in those bags. Too many unique colors in Lego. The only one I was ever able to artificially reproduce was um, Arctic White, which has little blacks and browns tied into it. And what I did was I used some Black India ink and um, hand sanitizer and something else. Treated the white, rubbed it off. Treated the white, rubbed it off. Treated the white, rubbed it off until I had the perfect 
kind of snow effect, Arctic dirt effect on the white bricks to mimic what Mega was doing with the um, Arctic Halo sets. Uh, one by threes, one by fours, one by fours, kind of a silver gray. Maybe a little bit of silverish. Not a lot. So one by fours. Usually I would not do that. Put the outside in first, but that's okay. Sometimes you make your, your life harder. Pushing the putting the wrong pieces in first. Two by eight. This needs to stick out by four studs. Okay. And then one of these. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> Pushing it in like, oh my goodness. It's a workout. It's a workout. But you got to do it. You got to get it in right. Brackets. At least four. One. Two, three, four brackets. Just do more of what we did earlier. Uh, one by eight. Hmm. One by sixes, okay. The eights first. One by sixes across. Anytime you can do a crisscross to make it like literally building with bricks, it's like that's the best way to build. Have it be strong. Six green brackets, ups or downs, downs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. This is only going under by two studs. Those the camera views, guys. I can't see half of them because I put a light in the way so I can see the chat as opposed to my cameras. Four by eight. Going across that. Oh my goodness. You hear that? <laughs> That's something else. Ah! Wow. Lord help you if you don't have good hand strength here. This is just something even, and even with that, I might pull out that Lego mallet. Haven't done that in a while. Actually, I really don't want to do that. I know where it is, and it's a pain to get to. Okay. Big brick again. Nice. We like that. I think Lego could definitely learn something from Mega. Not necessarily a whole lot about build techniques, but just making some of their stuff stronger, have some weight to it. There's value to it, I believe. 
Okay, we got some neat stuff going on here. So one by two, no, one by two, two of these triangle angle bits. And then some very interesting sloped bits, unique to Mega. Can I find them? One each way, one each way. Are these supposed to be pedals? Oh, that's wicked. Okay, so each one's going to be down. Oh, my stomach. Did you guys hear that? My stomach's let me know. It's not like what I'm doing. I'll have to have some water with lemon juice. And I'll turn that off. The, the effects of ghrelin. I honestly can't tell which way this is supposed to be. So if I turn it like this. Okay. And on the second one. That is interesting. Placement of what I assume are pedals. Black or gray? Gray, one by two bricks. So a gray brick, I need a plate with a bar. I need two gray or silver plates. So it's basically plate, plate with bar, and plate. So that's going to go one step ahead. This is going to go against the pedal. Is that gray or green? Gray. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. Two green plates. One of these in black. One of these in black. If you ever build halo cars, what I'm doing here, you do on practically every one of them. Oh, 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 bad, 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 bad. I made an assumption. And that was wrong. Because I'm a doo-doo head. So, again, you're building floating pieces. I hate that. I don't like that. I'm always going to feel that's a crappy technique. You should take it away from the build, build it, and attach it. Two of those, two two by twos, and two up brackets. And one going each way. And it didn't even go down. That didn't do a thing for me. So that's going to win an award for the most fragile part of this build. At least for now. Okay. So we're down. Tell you what. Does it make more sense to do this? Well, 
We'll give that a shot. You guys can see the parts from every other angle. And I'll just try and keep this where you guys can see it. and one of those plates I tell you man this cold slash head cold slash everything hang on a sec sorry about that but yeah it's just killing me here miserable Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> that clutch. That is crazy. A lot of tension on that one. That feels like it's almost going back to some of the early mega where some were too tight and some were too loose. And if you're not careful, crap's going to explode on you. Haven't had an exploding set in a lot of years. Oh my God. They're doing it again with floating pieces. Like, really? Yep, 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 yep. Now there's something neat. Lego doesn't do it quite like that. So it's four by four, but it's got two rows of studs. Lego would do that with one row of studs. Oh my goodness, my stomach. This might be the only fast I've ever done that I don't complete. Okay, so I got these two plates on. I'm pretty happy with how well they're sandwiched down. Two by two plates sticking out at that point. That looks good. So I need these tiles with one stud and then two wing plates. Stick that out one each way. Okay. So clearly we know the front end of the car now. Brick with Technicol, black plate, black brick. On my side of the build. Wow, one Technic. Hmm. Uh, oh, no. Wow. Look at that. I'm still going to use it. Or try to use it. Actually, it's going to be buried. So if it fits, I'll be okay. If it doesn't fit, I'll have to swap for a Lego. So here, I'll make it so you can see it against the white. Look at that. It's malformed. That's crazy. Happens. Not cool, but happens. Wow. Let's see. So one of those... Fortunately, that's not critical. Like I said, if I got a swap, I can swap. It fits. It buries. No one's a wiser except for you guys watching. But you can see here, maybe, in the light right there. Ever so slightly malformed.
Okay, I'm not liking the fact that having me put these pieces in right now because I'm looking ahead. And it might make my life difficult later. So there's another not malformed one by four, one by two, and a Technic brick. Wait a second, which one do I need? Not that. Okay. I'm just a little bit lost. Just a little bit lost. One by four and one by two. One by four, one by two. That... Mm, so, I clearly skipped this step. Do da, do da. Fortunately, it doesn't look like it harmed me any. And one spare. Bag three. Shazam. Okay. The cameras don't like that. CMOS sensors hate what I just did. But all those shiny reflective surfaces. It's a great way actually to kill a camera. You ever see the rich people with their yachts? If they want um, privacy from the uh, paparazzi. Oh, look at the seats. Oh, my goodness. So... It's not going to autofocus or anything, but look at this nice rounded seat. That is so cool. And I could see that being useful, like for shoulder pads for a Mac or, or anything like, oh, these are just beautiful parts. Lots of potential there. Lots of potential. Seen these before in one of my previous builds. Lego purists might hate some of these parts, but it's like if you're a mock builder, you love them. So what do we got going on here? Um, I'm guessing that's the gray. One by six in gray, one by six in green. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long day. One by six. I'm gonna flip it around. I've actually even had it backwards my perspective to give you guys a better experience but it can be harder to build that way one by six and then another gray So you, that's what we're looking at so far. The engine bay worries me a little bit. I'm hoping they're not going to make my life too difficult. Page 28 of 90 something ish. So, one of these, one of these joystick receptacles. 
you guys can't really see it anyway. Um, red kind of hand. This joint and a little black doohickey. Don't even pretend to know what I can call it. You'll just see the result. Here we go, a little shifter there against the white. You can see it. So, well, that would be the emergency brake. And that's going to e brake. There you go. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Oh, so we've got two different seat pieces here. I didn't realize it was a se the secondary one that's custom, too. I'll tell you, that's a nice seat. That's a beautiful looking seat. One offs, beautiful. Even that would be okay for some shoulder stuff. Like a lot of potential here, a lot of potential. I was hoping to put that figure in that uh, Kev gave me, but it might be sketchy. So. There we go so far. One by six in gray, one slope, and two inverted. Where's the other one? Two inverted partial slopes. So we're doing that same old sin of a plate on top of a plate. Slope there. Looks like these are aiming inwards. I'd like to say hi to everyone on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook who's watching right now. Thank you very much. If you can, if you're not subscribed, subscribe or follow. Um, if you can drop a like, please do that. Every little bit helps. If you like the presentation and if you like the software, um, I got a link on the YouTube and probably the Facebooks um, that you can click at the bottom. And that will help me out. Um, it's an affiliate link with StreamYards, the software I'm using. Um, that's kind of the greatest way to donate to me. I don't have a donation set because I don't ask for donations. But if you do that, that helps me out. And that's only if you're interested in actually doing this yourself, streaming. And, you know... I kind of show off that you can have a really nice presentation using the software, even with the constraints of it. But it's great for bringing extra people on. This weekend on Saturday, we're going to bring five or six people on. We could have a max of 10 on screen at the same time with as many in the background as we want and swipe them out. So, I mean, the software is more robust than you might think. Six brackets and a one by four plate. One by four plate dead center. Brackets on the side. More brackets on the side. And some L plates, two, three, four, five, six L plates. I 
Okay, so I got to mash a couple of these together. Two of them here, two of them there. And that will make kind of a brick right there. Okay. That's not bad. And then one each. Ow! It pinched my finger. One by eight, one by three brick, one by two plate. So one by three. I'm working opposite so that you guys get a decent view. One by two over here. Try not to break anything. One by eight, going all the way from the back to the front. There we go. Then doing the same thing, one by eight, one by three, one by two. This time, put the brick in first, dum dum. Here, I know something else I want to do. We can bring. That probably just cockeyed that camera. That's okay. It's going to cockeyed all the cameras. Okay. I'm happy with that. Switch to that. Advance. Auto. Back to where I'm happy. Let's start bringing this in a bit more. Home, wide, advanced. Fix that again. That's what we do all stream long, constantly fixing our crap. to this one because well every time I go off I have to fix home wide advanced fix that and bring it back to where I'm happy awesome Okay, everything's a bit more zoomed in. We've done all of that side to side, done that side to side. We're about one third of the way through the build. They're not difficult builds. They're not. Um, L plate. One by two plates. And a one by one. Look at that piece go. It's just going and going. Let's see. Green. Gray. Uh, gray L plate. Green on the front end. Now. Two of these black pieces. One, two, three of these silver grills. One green stud. One by two plate. A silver up bracket. Uh, two, two wide and a silver up bracket. Three wide. So three wide. Trying not to break them. I'm that paranoid. 
I mean, they're probably not as fragile as I make them out to be, but I am. I'm in no mood to fix stuff. I don't want to be that creative. I don't want to have to go find my crazy glue. Okay, so two little sub builds. So right now, one by three goes there. One by two goes there. One by two green there and one green stud here. Very nice. Hey, cabbage. Shazam. Cabbage, I saw your post on the uh, train tracks. Those are pretty slick. Those are Lego compatible? I wasn't even aware Kobe made trains. Like, that is, that is something. I think when if more people look at your 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 posts and your channel and stuff and they see what's out there like it's not that they're going to walk away from Lego but they realize they don't have to keep their heads buried and I guess it's deep darkest uh evening for you uh yeah Kobe are going into the tra train world nice so it's new then. You know what? I think it's a largely untapped market. I think it's smart. People love trains. People love trains and bricks. Lego has not done enough to satisfy that market. I think that could, you know, Kobe, once again, can do something unique. If they do it well. They could do, they could, you know, they could have a nice market. Just checking, 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 making sure. All right. Another one of those little caps. I hate that because that's something I wouldn't think about if. That's something I could definitely lose. My wife saw it. She wouldn't think it's brick anything okay there's our little shifter one of these these this tube this and the wheel tube I wish it wasn't in red but no matter which way this one faces naturally if you do it this way you don't see where it's been molded very nice free spinning So I don't think I'm going to be able to put that figure into this car that I've got that Kevin gave us. He kindly donated to the channel because if I take him off the mic. So there's our Lego dude. The scale, I think he's not going to work. Yeah, I've got no good way. And with doors that don't open, he's not going into this one. So, yep, not for you, dude. I have him up here every stream now. Oh, man, I hope you guys didn't hear that. That was my shoulder. Cracked in my ear. <laughs> like, badly, too. All right. One by threes, caps off that in there.
pipes. Got two of them. Oh, good. Whoop. That one's taking a run. In the top row? Yes, the top. Hmm. That is interesting. It's all under the hood stuff. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm never getting those out. They are in there for life. Oh, here we go again. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Don't want to break them. Wow, 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 wow. Got to be an easier way. Got to be an easier way, folks. You hear that? Wow. Okay. Not bad. I think it would have been easier if they had they said, pull it out. One by six, one by five, one L plate. And that makes all of that spares. Which, of course, I will ziplock after and mark for the set because I do not intermingle Mega with Mega. It's not like uh, what I do with the Lego spares. This is kind of cool. I mean, that's the last kind of 18 months of Lego spares. I don't do that with Mega. Colors are too all over the place. Okay, so this red piece is going out. That's going there, and then I guess this one by six is going all the way across. So, yes. All right, how are we? We're, we're now we're 12, we're a buck 12 in. Bag four. I think I can stomach at least another bag. It's not huge. Number four. Wow, the only bag that doesn't have sub bags in it so far. Let's see. Ooh, look, look, look. We don't have zoom, but we got some nice prints there. Do I have it? See, and Mega just does this beautiful print, you know? Do they have anything else printed here? No. But it's like, ah, just chef's kiss. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so from oh, I'm already getting ahead of myself here. So let's do this. Looking for some okay, gray. Gray. Okay. You want to lower the seats for now. Cabbage, I hope you're around on um, Saturday. I think around um, 7 p.m. Eastern, which is probably going to be a horrible time for you. Uh, we're doing the BrickLink Summit. There's going to be opportunities to win some stuff. Um, but only to those that are actually hanging around the chats. And ideally the YouTube chat. I'll be monitoring all my chats, but... 
the uh, YouTube one is the one that's going to get all the grease that day. Okay, trying to figure out which way is up on that print. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh, and the one green print. I gotta get this right because if they do all marry up, I'm gonna have issues. Okay, that looks like the right way to go. Uh, two and four. So I need four. Four of these is up brackets and two of the one by ones. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, and then one on the end facing out. Okay, so on the front end, we fill them in like this. Two, out, three, four, and then one each way facing out. I could do it without breaking anything. That would be nice. Make sure you check out all of Cabbage Face Brick's uh, socials. Guy makes uh, mocks, gets them up on Lego Ideas. You can use your support. Don't need that just yet. I'm ahead of myself. Two of these in black. Two round studs. Ow. I did it again. All right. Really? Well, I don't know if I like that choice. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Hmm. Where are these two studs going? One there. One on the other side. We're good. Two one by eights in gray. Looks like these are on the length. Oh, we're doing their funky. They have a way of making these hinges on these sets, I've noticed. That have been interesting. So we're going to do that once. Actually, we're going to keep doing it. We will never stop. Two. Three. I mean, it creates a, very, a neat double hinge. So then I take them and I rotate them. To make sure they're opposite of each other. And then you get this nice snake effect. Quiet stomach. 
You only think you're hungry. You're not. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. So now I got to figure out where these are going to sit. Did I mess that up? Okay, it's a little bit on the stiffy side. And I can see that being a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a top. There we go. A little tolerance issue on the one side, but we'll make it work. Uh, one by five, one by three, whatever this is. Those are spares. So on my side, one by five. On this side, I think that's going to be for the post for the hood. Okay. All right. Oh, it hasn't been long, so let's do another bag. We're literally going bag to bag. It's not terribly long. Because I can't I'm not gonna bang all that out. I can't do it. We'll do one more. Not a lot of parts there, so not too involved. I tell you, that that bothers me a little. I got that slight warp in that wheel. <laughs> I'll have to check the other ones. Let's see. Silver bars. Silver bars. Bum, 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 da, da, da. Hey, JB. Hola. That's the beginning, middle, and end of my Spanish. Do you speak? Do you speak it? Uh, are you Spanish or do you speak it fluently? I would love to have taken it in school, but it was really never offered to me in any real way. And they forced a language on me I didn't want to take. Doing a sub build here. So you just home from school or something now, JB? Let's see, where's my angle bits? That's uh, one by two angle bit, one by two angle bit, one by one angle bit, one by one angle bit. And two of these. These are great. I love these parts. I'm actually not going to follow the instruction, and I'm going to do this a little differently. Not that it's going to matter. It makes no difference in the end. It's just something aesthetic. That... Oh, you're on the bus even. Nice. Look at that, man. I am now mass transit worthy. How cool is that? People could accidentally discover me looking over your shoulder. That is cool. That is really cool. And all he sees these giant hands on the screen. Now, see, I watch YouTube on a 65-inch TV. I can only imagine what these claws are looking like. like ah. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. 4x4, four four, uh, 2x4, four and a 
two by four. Oh, are they really doing that to me? Oh, okay. Oh. How long till you get home? How long's your bus ride home from school? <coughs> Excuse me. Grenade. Got another one. That's it. Where is it at? I got another grenade. Grenade. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> you dropped your bottle, Tara. <laughs> I'm evil. I'm an evil father. 30 minutes and we were just leaving the bus loop. You're lucky, you know. Uh, when I start, when I entered the workforce after college, um, my bus ride to work, no word of a lie, hour and 45 minutes, one way. And it got worse on the way home in the winter. And if I missed it, because at the, it was the end of that particular line and it was going through two cities. And if you missed it, it was another 45 minute wait in the winter. And on certain days, I couldn't work overtime because there was definitely an end of day for that loop. And it's like I would need cab money, which that company did all the time. They, oh, well, we'll give you cab money. I thought that would be my get out of jail. Oh, no, you're going to have to. You'll have to give me cab money. I thought for sure they wouldn't do it. Like, dude, they were all over that. And yeah, sure. That's all it would take. It's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I was younger, so I didn't mind doing it. Now it's like. I got a car and everything. I got um, RAV4, but it's like, I don't want to stay. I don't want to stay. I'm Mr. Not only am I Mr. No Overtime, unless my boss really needs a favor. I'm Mr. VTO, Volunteer Time Mob. I will absolutely take every opportunity to not be there. If it's a no penalty thing. Yeah, you know what's cool about those long rides, JB? I could read. I haven't read books in years. I would read, you know. A book a week or whatever just riding that bus and i also used to listen to um music and stuff oh by the way hey you you listen to music on your phone or whatever right check this out um the mp3 players that we had you know back then the very first ones could only hold if you're lucky 16 songs i mean this is before the ipods and um before apple made a big deal of it so it was it was pretty rough for us Actually, and I had a high-end one too. I had a Samsung unit, and it had it could hold maybe sixteen full songs, depending on how I compressed it, and I had to compress them too. Like that was a that was a thing. People liking my photos. Whoever is on Twitch, come say hi. I see you there. Come say hi. I don't get to see my Twitch viewers nearly enough. My YouTube people won't see you necessarily unless I can put your chat up, but which I can do. Mega Dan Shazam. So that's our engine block so far. That's going all the way against the back. Oh, there we go. Boy, that's looking like a beastly thing. Hey, Dan, you came back right in the nick of time. Because when I finish these pieces, we'll shut her down and we'll come back most likely after dinner-ish. Five or six or seven o'clock tonight. My time. Chirana. Chirana time. Two of those, two of these pegs. That means this and this are spares. I got to admit, as much as I don't like all the plastic that Mega uses, they seem to use more than even Lego. Um, I do like smaller counts per bag. That appeals to me because it's less of a commitment to build. Oh, 
Oh, really? Those pieces come from the TMNT sets, really? They're nice. They're very nice. Uh, the two-piece, I, I like the build. They're very nice. Yeah, but the mega figures are going to be the wrong scale for this car. I mean, they may sit in it, but they're going to look weird. They're going to look real weird. They're going to look like babies. Uh, Ryan Brick, I can't stay for long. I just wanted to hop on, say hi. Oh, thanks, Ryan. If you could drop a like, that would be awesome, brother. We're trying to game the algorithms again. If I can get everyone to start liking my videos, I'm getting my view count slowly crawling up. My subs are slowly crawling up again. So we're getting the positive movement, which is great. But I got to get the, uh, I got to get the likes working for me too. Got to get the likes working for me. All right. So that's what we got so far. Let's see if we can. So that's our build. We're about halfway through on bag. You know, that was the end of what bag five out of 11. 11 was the wheel. So we're halfway through. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I don't normally bug, but I am. I'm going to start bugging a little bit and we're just going to see if it works. See, I shall stay, even stay streaming for a bit. I'm waiting for him to show up. That, that never shows up right away for me. The uh, StreamYards polls the server periodically. Oh, yeah, I know what I can do, though. Um, how come there is comments on the vid below? From years ago? I don't know, because I don't know what you're seeing. Let's see. That is... That's interesting. Let's see. So, I have no idea what you're seeing right now. Turn down my audio. I don't know. Maybe a weird hiccup. And I don't have any odd links going on. By the way, that stream's looking awesome now that I'm looking at it. I got to my own horn, but I got to admit, that's a pretty awesome presentation. When you get up and running, Dan, I'll even make some overlays for you, maybe depending on what you're using. Yeah, you can send it over. So I'm going to shut her down. Let's see. Yeah, we'll shut her down. I'm still not seeing what I would hoped I would see. Refresh it, refresh it. Maybe I'll see them after. Okay, guys, um, yeah, we're done for now, and sometime later today, we will fire it up again, and um, we'll do at least one stream later, and this doesn't take too long, and if that finishes, hey, we'll do another. Lord knows I got stuff. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace.